Hello my dear students, this CRM is Sony and I am here for a quick clarification which many of the CMA final students are going ahead and asking me today. Tomorrow is the exam which is 30th of June and here I am with a question which is there in the MTP, CMA Institute ka MTP which is there. For your June 22 exam, there is a question which is there in section D which most of the students have a doubt. So I am here for quickly going ahead and clarifying the question with you guys. Let's discuss the question quickly. Everyone over here, CA final students or CS professional students also if you if they want, it's a brilliant question. You should refer to the video. Done sir, we will go ahead and do it. CMA final students, let's do it. Everyone over here. It says Messrs RS Ramesh Soni has a proprietorship firm. Okay? In the name of S and Son in Jaipur. Okay, what is happening over here? Ramesh Soni has S and Son in Jaipur. Okay, sir. Then they are going ahead and telling the firm is registered under GST in the state of Rajasthan. It is registered in the state of Rajasthan. Okay, sir. Then manufactures three taxable product M and N O. So it is going ahead and manufacturing M, N, and O. Okay, sir. Okay, done. Then then they are going ahead and telling over here. That sir, and tax pay, tax on M N is payable under reverse charge. So this is forward charge mechanism. This is also forward charge mechanism, and this is reverse charge mechanism. Okay, sir. So I will not go ahead and charge any tax. I will just make the supply. The recipient will pay the GST under reverse charge. Okay, sir. Done. Okay. The firm also provides consultancy service along with the manufacturing of these three product. They also Ramesh Sonika firm, which is there, also goes ahead and provides consultancy services. Okay, sir. We also go ahead and provide consultancy services. Now they have gone ahead and given. Detail the firm has provided the following details for the period. Okay, sir. They have gone ahead and provided the details over here. Okay, sir. Done. Okay. They are going ahead and telling over here. Assume that all domestic transaction of SN Sun are intrastate. Intrastate matlab they are going ahead and telling CGST and SGST is applicable and the rate of GST on goods is 12%, services is 18%. All the conditions necessary for availing ITC have been complied with. Turnover of SN Sun was 85,000 in the preceding financial year. Last year ka turnover they have given. With the help of the above information basically answer the following question they are asking you that up with the above information you have to give me the answer now okay what are the answers they are asking they are asking common credit attributable to exam supplies during the period april to september okay they are asking you the common credit okay sir we will go ahead and calculate the common credit which is there which is attributable to what exam supply okay sir we will go ahead and calculate this then they are asking you Compute the ITC available in the e-credit ledger of Ascension for April to uh, September 2021. Okay, sir. And also total GST payable. So what I will go ahead and do is let me go ahead and do this sum like this. That sir, whatever is the GST payable under forward charge mechanism, we have to find out. GST payable under reverse charge mechanism, we'll have to find out. That will go us go and give us the total output tax liability okay sir output tax liability will come basically output tax liability will have your reverse charge ka gst your forward charge ka gst okay sir then then let's go ahead and calculate the itc which is there number one your input tax credit number one you will have itc which is available which is your full credit which will be available one will be itc with respect to common credit common credit which will be available with you Okay, sir, this will be my ITC which will be available. Now, when you are going ahead and doing common credit, ka, common credit ka apportionment, you will need E by F. Sir, exempt turnover divided by total turnover. So, let's go ahead and do one more sheet where we will go ahead and calculate total turnover and we will go ahead and calculate exempt turnover only for the purpose of apportionment. Mind it, this total turnover and exempt turnover is only for the purpose of apportionment. Okay, done sir. We will go ahead and calculate. Listen to me very carefully. Here, you will take taxable supplies plus you will say take exempt supplies because for the purpose of apportionment, I hope you guys remember in section number 17.3, exempt supply ka definition is different. And sir, if I go ahead and talk about total turnover, it is taxable supplies. That is your taxable turnover. Taxable turnover and your exam supplies put together. 
ठीक है डन सर सो इट विल बी बेसिकली योर एग्जाम सप्लाईज का टर्नओवर आल्सो कम इन योर टोटल टर्नओवर बिकॉज योर टोटल टर्नओवर विल बी योर टैक्सेबल टर्नओवर प्लस योर एग्जाम सप्लाईज का टर्नओवर डन सर ठीक है लेट्स गो एड एंड डिस्कस नाउ एवरीवन विल स्टार्ट रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन स्लोली एंड विल स्टार्ट प्लेसिंग द वैल्यू स्लोली ओवर हियर ठीक है प्लीज कम टू द क्वेश्चन एवरीवन नाउ द क्वेश्चन गोज एड एंड सेज टर्नओवर ऑफ एम इज 14 लाख रुपीस ठीक है सर व्हाट इज द टर्नओवर now here i will go ahead and say turnover and i will say whatever is my gst liability okay done sir everyone over here turnover is 14 lakh rupees i hope you guys remember that they have gone ahead and told on the goods the gst rate is how much 12% and services is 18% so 14 lakh pay 12% means how much sir 14 lakh into 12% 14 lakh into 12% it is 168000 theek hai done sir everyone is clear now this will also be required in your total turnover so let's go ahead and place it in your total turnover saying sir turnover of m which is there will also come which is 14 lakh rupees i hope everyone is clear till here we are doing this turnover for the purpose of apportionment theek hai done sir we'll go ahead then what is the next one The next one over here is if you go ahead and see, sir, turnover of n, n is six lakh ka turnover. If you go ahead and tell me, sir, m ka turnover we did turnover with respect to n, n may reverse charge mechanism recipient will pay, but sir, it will come in your turnover. It is my turnover outward supply, outward supply on which recipient will go ahead and pay GST is my turnover. It will come in your turnover, but sir, I will not go ahead and charge any GST. However. listen to me very carefully everyone this will also go in your exam ka turnover because if you go ahead and read the section number 173 may exam supplies ka turnover for the purpose of apportionment it is nil rated wholly exam non taxable supply it also includes supplies under reverse charge so reverse charge may whatever supplies i am doing is your exam supplies yes sir point is clear so if you go ahead and tell n ka turnover 6 lakh will come over here and sir here also we have to go ahead and include why because we are taking taxable and exam supplies both ka turnover and sir for the purpose of apportionment this is the exam supply so exam supply ka turnover will be included in the total turnover i hope this point is clear to all let's go ahead everyone please come back the next one over here is turnover of a o o is 10 lakh rupees sir turnover of o is 10 lakh rupees over here what is the gst rate which is applicable sir 12% gst rate is applicable so 1 lakh 20000 rupees gst will come over here and also sir turnover of a o because it is a taxable supply 10 lakh rupees ka turnover will uh, also come over here theek is done sir so i am putting a comma so that we don't go anywhere wrong theek hai done sir point is clear chalo we'll go ahead and now start the next one the next one is turnover of m without with payment of igst is 2 lakh 50000 so sir what is the turnover of m m has been exported on payment of igst which is how much everyone which is over here 2 lakh 50000 sir 2 lakh 50000 i will have to pay 12% and later i will go ahead and claim itc ka refund but sir as of now i'll have to pay so i will go ahead and say 2 lakh 50000 into 12% 2 lakh 50000 into 12% if you see 30000 rupees will come over here and also sir it is your turnover so it will come in your taxable supply m which you go ahead and export under igst payment will come in your turnover which is how much everyone sir 2 lakh 50000 rupees will come over here done sir this is also clear over here chalo we will go ahead the next one over here in the question goes ahead and says sir export of o under letter of undertaking 10 lakh rupees letter of undertaking mein you have exported o sir export of o o was a gst o was a taxable supply only which you have exported exported on lut lut if you have given how much is the amount everyone sir the amount is 10 lakh over here 10 lakh rupees is the amount over here and sir i have gone ahead and given an lut so i am not required to pay anything although 12% GST is applicable, but because you give an LOT bond over here, you don't have to pay anything. Also, please take it in your turnover over here, sir. O will come, which I have exported under LOT, will also come over here. How much is the amount, everyone? 
the amount is 10 lakh rupees chalo we'll go ahead and take 10 lakh rupees also over here and sir it is export it is not exam supply it will come in my total turnover theek hai done sir let's go ahead the next one over here is consultancy service provided to independent client located in foreign country now in all cases the consideration has been received in foreign convertible currency so here they mean to say that consultancy services has been exported export cut definition as per section number 2 clause 6 of the section number 2 clause 6 of the IGST Act says supplier is in India RS is in India recipient is outside India because it is provided in foreign country place of supply also outside India you have received foreign convertible currency and you both are not mere establishment of distinct person assumed then sir it will be export of service and 20 lakh rupees is export consultancy services which you have exported is 20 lakh rupees over here sir do i have to pay any gst baba 18 percent is applicable on your export of service but because you have gone ahead and exported it over here 20 lakh rupees pay how much is the gst applicable can you guys tell me ex consultancy services provided to independent client sir because it is a export on which gst will not be applicable export of service under letter of undertaking you can assume it that it's an under letter of undertaking you have exported the service export of service pay there will be no gst done sir point is clear but this sir will also go in my turnover so let's go ahead and write this export of consultancy services as 20 lakh rupees in your turnover done sir point is clear then sale of building excluding stamp duty sir stamp duty is 2.5 lakh and stamp duty is 2 percent don't consider this always remember whenever you are going and in considering exempt supplies for apportionment you have to consider sale of land and building ka stamp duty value here they are telling 2,50,000 is 2% can you tell me everyone if 2,50,000 is 2% how much is 100 sir 125 1 crore 25 lakh now everyone listen to me very carefully 1 crore 25 lakh will be considered okay do I have to pay any tax on sale of land and building sir sale of land and building sale of land and building is neither supply of goods nor supply of service and gst liability will not come but i hope you guys remember i just now showed you over here sale of land pay stamp duty value has to be taken sale of land and building car stamp duty has to be stamp duty value has to be taken which is one crore 25 lakh as your exam supply car value i hope everyone is clear yes sir sale of land and building building sale of land and completed building wherever it is sold it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service and sir on that gst is never there gst is not there but sir as per section number 17.3 we consider the stamp duty value as exam supply everyone listen to me very carefully now exam supply may when you have considered this listen you are considering exam supply in your total turnover also for the purpose of apportionment and hence this amount will also come in your Turnover we are taking plus exam supplies ka turnover also will come over here because total turnover you are calculating and hence it will also form part of your total turnover over here. Done sir, point is clear. Listen, this is your exam supply, this is your exam supply. Sir, taxable supplies and exam supplies will give you a total turnover for the purpose of apportionment. Okay sir, done, let's go ahead. The next one over here comes says interest received on fixed deposit 4 lakh. Sir, interest income which is 4 lakh rupees, interest is exam supply and sir, GST will not come. Listen to me very carefully. Now, sir, if you go ahead and read over here, section number 17.3, it says interest income. Please exclude it from section number 17.3. Means at the time of apportionment, interest income is not to be considered as exam supply. Hence, what will happen in this question? Sir, interest income interest income is not to be considered as your exam supply so it will not come here but in your total turnover to interest income will come i hope point is clear yes sir point is clear let's go ahead now the next one over here is sale of share purchase price is given i'm not bothered i am bothered about the sale price sale price is 2 crore 50 lakh rupees sir if you read section number 17.3 it goes ahead and says exam supply includes transaction in securities 1 percent of sale value okay sir now what will happen everyone over here sale of share 
इफ आई गोड एन आस्क यू सर सेल ऑफ शेयर सेल ऑफ शेयर डू आई हैव टू पे एनी टैक्सेस सर इट इज नॉट सप्लाई ऑल्सो एंड सर इट इज नॉट कमिंग इन योर जीएसटी लाइबिलिटी ऑल्सो बट सर वी हैव टू गोड एन कंसिडर इट फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ अपोर्शनमेंट वन परसेंट ऑफ द सेल वैल्यू वन परसेंट ऑफ सेल वैल्यू इन केस ऑफ सेल ऑफ शेयर्स हैज टू बी कंसिडर्ड सर शेयर्स इज टू पॉइंट फाइव सी आर दैट का वन परसेंट टू क्रोर फिफ्टी लैख रुपीज इन टू वन परसेंट विल गिव यू टू फिफ्टी लैख ठीक है सर नाउ लिसन दिस हेज कम इन योर एग्जाम सप्लाई एंड टोटल टर्न ओवर फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ अपोर्शनमेंट इज योर टैक्सेबल टर्न ओवर एंड योर एग्जाम टर्न ओवर सो दिस एग्जाम टर्न ओवर टू फिफ्टी लैख विल ऑल्सो कम ओवर हियर I hope everyone is clear. Yes, sir. Always remember for apportionment, you take taxable supplies and exempt supplies ka value as per section number seventeen three. And sir, this all item will be included in your total turnover. I hope everyone is clear. Yes, sir. And hence, I have included all of them over here. Done, sir. Chalo, we'll go ahead. The next one over here is legal services received from the advocate in relation to product M. M is a taxable supply. Three lakh fifty thousand ka legal services received. Sir, received means it is not my liability. It is my input tax credit. How much? Three lakh fifty thousand ka services received on which I am liable to pay GST under RCM. Yes, sir. How much is the GST under RCM over here? If you go ahead and see, three lakh fifty thousand into eighteen percent is the GST rate. So, sir, I will have to go ahead. First of all, listen. It will also be liability under RCM. Three lakh fifty thousand. Into eighteen percent, you will be liable to pay eighteen percent sixty three thousand as your liability also. Plus, you will get the ITC also of sixty three thousand. I hope everyone is clear till here. Okay, done, sir. Then the next one is common input and input services used for supply of goods. Input is thirty five lakh. Input services is fifteen lakh, sir. How much is the input over here? Common credit input is an input. Services, okay, sir. How much is the input? Input is thirty-five. Services is fifteen lakh. Thirty-five lakh and fifteen lakh into a, sir. Input pay rate is twelve percent. Services pay rate is eighteen percent. Can you tell me, sir? Thirty-five lakh into twelve percent. It will give you over here, everyone. Here, thirty-five lakh into twelve percent. 4.2 lakh and sir 15 lakh into 18% will give you 2.7 lakh can you tell me the total sir total is 4.2 plus 2 my mathematics is very bad baba 4 lakh 20000 plus 2 lakh 70000 6 lakh 90000 is the common credit multiplied by e by f will give you relating to exam supply which is your ineligible credit theek hai done sir can we go ahead and now calculate the total turnover over here Have we gone ahead and considered everything? Yes, sir. We have gone ahead and considered sale of shares also. After that, sir, uh, this is never my turnover. This is legal services received, so it is not my turnover. Purchase is never your turnover. Okay, and sir, they have told turnover of S and Son last year's turnover is eighty five lakh. So that you know that RCM liability has to be paid on legal services. ठीक है done, sir. Let's calculate the total turnover over here. If you see, exam turnover will be six lakh plus one twenty five lakh plus twenty two lakh fifty thousand over here. It gives you one thirty five, sir, one thirty three five one two three four, sir, one crore thirty three lakh fifty thousand. ठीक है सर. Now let's calculate total turnover. Everyone, I'll tell you once again. See, these are your the taxable turnovers which were there already theek hai this were your taxable turnover in this i am including exempt supply why sir because turnover for the purpose of turnover for the exempt supply for the purpose of see total turnover means taxable turnover which are the red ones which i marked plus exempt supply and hence exempt supply as per section number 173 has to be included over here also and can you tell me the total sir 14 lakh plus 6 lakh plus 1 crore plus 2 lakh 50000 plus uh 10 lakh okay plus 20 lakh okay plus 125 lakhs okay plus 4 lakhs okay and it gives you 2 lakh 50000 
one minute everyone i think we have done something wrong over here 14 lakh okay 14 lakh plus 6 lakh over here okay then it is 10 lakh over here then 2 lakh 50 thousand plus sir this was 10 lakh rupees okay plus 10 lakh okay plus it is one uh, okay 20 lakh 20 lakhs plus 125 crore okay 1 crore 25 lakh plus 4 lakhs okay and it is 2 lakh 50 thousand so it gives you 1 crore 94 lakhs okay sir this is your taxable turnover this is your exam turnover so it is 1335 and 1940 so sir it is 6 lakh 90 thousand into 1335 1335 1234 divided by sir 1941940 1240 1234 done sir can you tell me how much it is 6,90,000 into 1335 divided by 1940 will give you 4747484820 which is your exempt supply related itc can you tell me out of 6,90,000 if 47474820 sir is your exempt supply related how much is your eligible 690000 minus 474820 you will get 215180 as your eligible credit common credit say eligible credit is how much eligible credit is 215180 sir itc for the reverse charge mechanism also you will get yes sir and hence can you tell me what is your total credit plus 63000 will give you 278180 as your eligible credit done sir this is my total eligible credit can you tell me what is your output tax liability 168000 plus 120000 plus 30000 minus sir one minute everyone sir 168000 okay plus 120000 plus 30000 plus 63 63000 is also your liability so 381000 is your total liability out of which you have a credit how much sir 381 i have a credit of 278 minus 278 180 it will give you your net liability which you are liable to pay through your cash ledger will be how much everyone sir 102820 done everyone okay sir so i have gone ahead and calculated your exam supply cut turnover your total turnover okay let's see what is the question asking the question is asking you sir common credit common credit okay common credit we already got it okay sir exam supply related credit i have already gone ahead and calculated exam supply related credit then sir they are going ahead and telling over here net itc available can you tell me what is your net itc available this is your net itc which is available then sir they are going ahead and telling you what is your gst payable sir outward tax payable is 3 lakh 18 thousand over here see this was your 3 lakh 18 thousand plus your reverse charge mechanism wala liability is also your liability so if you go ahead and see over here 3 lakh 18 is your outward tax plus that is forward charge me along with the reverse charge the total outward tax is this much okay sir for our exam sir what to do what to do is because they have gone ahead and taken only your for outward supply wala tax payable they are asking you over here gst payable on outward supply so i will tell you that you go ahead and take only this much because this is your gst payable on reverse charge so sir three lakh eighteen thousand is your outward supply related gst so you go ahead and find out three lakh eighteen thousand done sir then sir this is my total liability out of this the total liability three lakh eighty one thousand okay out of this you got a credit of input tax rate 2,78,000 I showed you how to calculate 2,78,000 and your net liability which is payable in cash is 102,820,000 102,820,000 I hope everyone got it how did I get 102? this is your total GST liability minus your ITC which you have you go ahead and get your total liability which you have to go ahead and pay in cash this question is one of the brilliant questions which is there it will help you a lot I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I was able to explain you 
clearly right sir point is clear baba people if you by chance have a doubt tomorrow you means if you have a doubt you can go ahead and call me on 7259276368 i will be having class till morning 10 o'clock after that i will be able to help you if you have a doubt right everyone all the best guys all the cma students all the very best everyone if you enjoyed the video please share with your friends and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel love you all take care write well Let's do it everyone. Take care. Bye everyone.